the original Industrial Revolution was driven by the discovery that you could use steam engines to do all kinds of interesting things. But that was followed by additional revolutions for electricity and computers and communications technology. We're now in the early stages of the fourth Industrial Revolution, which is bringing together digital, physical, and biological systems. One of the features of this fourth Industrial Revolution is that it doesn't change what we are doing, but it changes us. The prediction of 5 million jobs lost by 2020 to technology is serious, but it's not the main question. Construction, manufacturing, services, public health and education, these industries will still exist. The main question is, what will be the future of work? How will we define work? How will we share the wealth? But from the viewpoint of the, the labour or jobs, now the, uh, we really need a new education or new training. We're working with a world in motion in FIRST Robotics, trying to encourage you know, students from third grade all the way up through uh, the end of high school. We um, had students make sailboats, and then we had them race them, and so they could see how quickly they could move. And they immediately went back and started to say, oh, I saw what happened, I'm going to go change this or that. And that was third graders. I had just given a prize to a kid of 18 years old that has discovered something really very, very unique. Came up with how to get better productivity and better yields for seeds of corn. And so he basically came with the idea that if you would perforate these seeds, you would get more food. And uh, you think about it and say, but he didn't go to university. So how does he get all that knowledge? And he told me, I mean, I've been watching YouTube since the age of 12 and I'm so interested that I've seen everything about it. I've read everything about it. The world is really open uh, to learning. The thing is, uh, how do you give the incentive to your kids to do that? It's this ability of digital technology to change outcomes, to truly empower people all over the world that can create a more equitable growth because I think the world needs that. Fourth Industrial Revolution has the potential to make inequalities visible and to make them less acceptable in the future and hopefully to gather and garner political support to take the necessary decision to reduce the gap. Humans have always been using tools, but because of the recent advances in technology, we're beginning to have machines that can augment us in all sorts of interesting ways. People always ask me if I'm an optimist or a pessimist. The technology exists, but how do we get it and implement it at the scale we need, at a price that people around the world can afford? Even though we have everyday problems, we have to solve, we have to find a way to lay the foundations for the innovations of tomorrow.